this is where it all started. When I became a different person, when I almost sent the entire world back to the Dark Ages. Dang it. I can't beat this game. Took me five days to master the game, but I finally beat it. Woo. Well done. You've unlocked a new skin. If my timing is correct, which it always is, this week's trash rockets should be blasting off in exactly 3, 2, 1. And a half. Right on time. Why are we blasting rockets into the sky? The garbage man was giving me a lip about having to pick up toxic waste. So your solution was to load all of our trash into a rocket and shoot it into space. That's right. And all of Oru trash is now orbiting this big blue marble we call home. Weird flex but okay. Hey there fellow friends I hope you all are having a good day just as I Rosie am having. Don't mind me please return to your business. What was that about? He has a point. Rosie has been acting a bit weird lately. Should we follow her and see what's going on? No. Let's wait for our problems to get back to us. Deal. Your dad's making you do prisoner checks, what did you do Rosie, throw out his hair gel? I'm sorry, Rosie isn't home right now, if you'd like to leave a message I'll still ignore you. So who are you, cause you look like Rosie. Oh, really? How about now, wait, who are you, I'm Trent, the creator of the viruses, I took over Rosie's body so I can begin my plan on creating new viruses. What viruses? These. I am virus. I took the body. Okay then. So what are you doing here, Rosie? Long story short, I uploaded my entire consciousness to a supercomputer. You know, as a backup plan. Anyways, it took a couple of years but I managed to hack the satellite so I can bring the virus back and the whole world will be under my control. Listen up. Whatever you have planned for Kai Ulio and Boris, I can definitely make it worse. Oh? Sure you can, kind of got a lot going on right now with the whole possessing someone else so I can send humanity back to the dark ages. But be ready, I might let you out if I need to. Dad. I think we ran out of trash rockets. So buy more. Weird, that sounds like one of the rockets. And where did that rope tied around your ankle come from? Oh, would you look at that? Why? <laughs> ha, he's not gonna be happy about that. I am not happy about this. You know I was just taking a nice sun out there, when someone tied me to one of those rockets and launched me into space. What, no one's gonna look shock. Okay. My fault. Oh, don't give me your petty shocks, especially you. Me? What did I do? Not you. I mean her. Surely you can't mean me, Rosie, your daughter from before. You're not Rosie, my daughter from before at all. Well, of course I am. Tell him, Kalu. You have been acting weird lately. I find it strange that of your headset shows up on our doorstep and I think that it has taken control of Rosie and there is only one villain smart enough to pull this off. Layla. I am a lot smarter than Layla. Oh, I got it. It's a slow morph of time. I'm Trent, the creator of the virus. We have to hurry, reverse the effect until she is not possessed. You can't stop me. She is at the reversing point. Hurry. What's going on? This Rosie is clean. So, whatever happened to those VR goggles? Kalu helped me put it inside a trash rocket. It's good to have you back. 
Now we'll never have to worry about the viruses ever again. But we were wrong. The story wasn't over, not even close. Where Quit are we? touching me. Lights turn I'm on. I'm scared of the dark. Wait, why are we scared? It's four against one. I'm scared of the mess I'm going to have to clean up. Too bad for you. Hi. Nobody move. I spent a lot of time rewiring the satellites when I possessed Rosie. Nice going, Rosie. I was possessed. Also, I have no memory of that. Well, I hope you all enjoy your first and last time turning into a virus. I'll be back using the satellite dish to get my revenge on you. Keep an eye out. They're highly contagious. Enjoy death future dead people. No. Okay. I am virus. He's going to access a satellite in space so he can turn the world into a virus. No he won't, cause we're gonna stop him. Dad how do we stop him? Yeah is there a way you can find the satellite he's talking about? Sorry guys, there's literally over 1000 satellites circling the Earth. It would take years to find it. Oh, got it. Now we can take out the satellite. Wait, even if we do take out the satellite? Who is going to take out the guy who created the virus? I am. How are you going to do that when this building is on lockdown? There is an emergency exit vault that is in the basement here. You and Leo can go find the creator of the virus. Me and Rosie will stay here and take care of the satellite. Impact with satellite in one minute. Have you came up with an idea yet? If we put something between us and the satellite it will lessen the impact so we don't die. So one of us will have to go outside and get hit by the satellite. But who? No. I hate you people. If you're just joining us, a creator of a virus has tied the new station up with rope and is about to access the giant satellite dish on the roof of this building to beam down his sentient virus. It's gonna take a miracle to stop him. Sorry to interrupt your news. We are looking for the creator of the virus. I'm over here. Excuse me sir, but we got a cyborg to take down. Hey. Before this goes TVMA, we're gonna do you a solid and give you a chance to just give up. Yeah, there's really no reason this has to get violent. You're right, I'm ready to turn myself in, to a fight machine. Absolutely sick twist. Okay, now it's time to get violent. You know what, I have superpowers. Bring it on you stupid satellite. Uh, uh. Ha, that could have been way worse. Oh dear. Direct hit baby. Wish we could grab the satellite and smash it over his face some more. Yeah, it couldn't hurt us. Is that what I think it is? It's the guy infected with the evil virus. I am virus. See? Rosie, don't let him hit you or you'll get infected. Didn't Kalo and Leo fight these guys? I really think we should call him. We don't need Kalo. Stand back and let me handle this. I did not get possessed just to let this walking virus take me out.
gonna need better aim than that. Uh, guys. No, that's pretty good aim. At least I'm kind of warm now. Hey, Rosie, say something. I am virus. Don't look down, it will just freak you out. Where you take him? Ah, uh, he'll be back. That's what I call breaking news. We lost. Welcome back, kids. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Who is that? You know who I am. You can't give up. No, 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 don't leave. Keep fighting. No, don't leave. Keep fighting. No. Did not see that coming. Uh, where am I? You are asking the wrong guy. But where's everyone? This is bad. Yeah, it's not good. All the bad guys are gone so we're down two people. What do we do now? We call for backup. This is a breaking news report and it just took place right here in our studio. I was knocked unconscious. But our cameras were rolling so we can show you exactly what happened. The person who created the virus saw that Rosie had blasted his living viruses into oblivion and said, I'm gonna miss those viruses. He left two mysterious notes, one for Boris, and another one on the villain's hand. Meet. On. Top. Of. Then he drags Rosie and Leo right out of here. The villain woke up, read the note on his hand and ran away. When I finally woke up, everyone was gone. That's right, gone. We have an emergency here. We gotta go find Leo and my sister. Blue Tecton isn't answering his phone. Kalu, you try and call him. Hey, what's up, buddy? Leo, are you okay? Yeah, what's on your neck? What's on yours? And by the way, where are we? On top of Nakatomi Tower. Feel free to leave but it's a 500 foot fall so you might want to stay away from the edge. Well I am the one who fights. Are you done? What are we even doing here Trent? Waiting for a friend. And there he is. Did you just climb up the side of the building? <laughs> I see you got my note. You used me as a distraction and turned me into a virus. Give me one reason why I should intend you right now. My infectious charm? I know what you really want. I can give you revenge on Galu, Boris, and anyone else who gets in our way. Explain. My guess. And it's a good one. Because I'm, well, me, is that Boris woke up at the news station, saw that those two were missing, Panicked and called one of the superheroes to come over. I bet they're at his house right now. Hey guys, hey, what's up? Too busy to take my calls. I was stopping a meteor from hitting Earth. Oh, but you weren't when Kalu called. That's are we interesting. Really gonna do this what right are we now? doing? You do oh, this do every do? time. Oh, it's yeah, called let's healthy talk communication. I can't even talk oh, to you. You can't. you can't talk to me. All right. Blue Tech No, can you agree to take my dad's calls, unless you're in a life or death emergency? I can agree to that. Okay, and dad, can you agree that Blue Tech No has his own life and that his boundaries are not an attack on you? I always pick up when he calls. Come See? on. And he doesn't call very often just putting that out there. I'm just going to go find my sister. Anyone who wants to help can come on. I'm just gonna travel across the world into life. Hey, she's calling me right now. Oh, you pick up when she calls. That's refreshing. What's up, Rosie? So what's this thing you're building? 
something to call down more of your viruses? No, I think that one killed the last of my viruses. Sorry. It's okay, now that I've wirelessly upgraded myself to a cyborg I can upgrade my plan. Hey, I think I know why Rosie called. Oops. Dude stop. Okay, that was Blue Techno using his boundaries to attack me. Blue Techno, would you care to respond to Boris's feelings? Those weren't my boundaries dude. That was my force field and I think Rosie called me so we could listen in on Trent's plan. So tell us your plan Trent. Will you let me in? Will you be cool? I don't think he's ready to be cool. And then I thought, I'll absorb all of the world's power. I'm a human computer hybrid so I can absorb and control the earth itself. Once I control the earth I can control machines, factories, aircraft carriers, ports, cities and countries. You'd be able to run the world. Right from this location. I doubt it. I need a little bit more power to maintain the optimum algorithmic computations but if I can get my hands on this chip then I can rule the world. So you need someone to go find this chip and bring it to you. Smart guy. If I get you this chip, you'll get me blue techno, cyborgs promise. Deal. <laughs> still alive, and still evil. Kalu will make it look like an accident then. We surprise him when he crawls out of the rubble. And when we do, we take him down and make us tell him where Rosie and Leo are. Guys, this feels like a trap. Now. It's too easy, I mean Trent probably knew we were listening the whole time. I say go, I say go, I say trap. You are getting slow old man. Boom, felt good. You wanna kick him or something? No I can't do that he's already on the ground. Sure you can, watch. So it was a trap, but why is Rosie all evil now? Boss says bring this one back. This wasn't part of the deal Trent. You said that I could get revenge on Blue Tech, no, that ain't it. Ooh, sounds like you guys got a lot of stuff to work through. Can I recommend Kalu? He helped me and Boris unpack some stuff we're in a really good place now. You'll get him soon enough. Poor Techno just has something I need. A foot massage? A force field. Anybody want to become king of the world? Too bad you can't. Okay that actually looks a lot like revenge. Okay, here's the plan. We run the old Tennessee handbone with Aloha Twist. Are you ready? Yeah yeah, quick question though. What? Do you know that they can see us? Okay that is new information. Please don't hurt me. Wow, I did not think that would work. Hey buddy, hang on. Okay, this should reset them. Yo, I'm looking fresh, dude. 
I could use a hand here. You got it, Blue Techno. Let him go, Trent. We said, let him go. This is gonna hurt. Wait, wait, I'm back. Oh, what? Did I miss it? A like little a bit. Fraction. Yeah. Well, what should we do now? Dad, can you agree that Blue Techno has his own life and that his boundaries are not an attack on you? I can agree to that. So what are you gonna do now, Blue Techno? I'll be heading back to my city. I have to make sure the world stays safe. See you around. <laughs>